Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we have Joe Kennedy, the representative from Massachusetts, Joe Kennedy the third actually, versus Donald Trump in a general election. So after the State of the Union, um, <clears throat> Joe Kennedy gave a response to the president, and we're going to see how this all plays out on the electoral map. Um, so I think this would be a somewhat close election, I, although there is the argument that Kennedy could be a very, very strong politician. Um, after the State of the Union, I personally thought it was somewhat good. Um, but it, it was very presidential of Trump and the way he handled the, um, overall just state of the union itself. He deserves credit for that. Um, and I think that his approval ratings are going to go up. I don't think it's going to go up to anything past 45%, but maybe somewhere in the low forties, um, somewhere that could help him. Um, but now I'm just filling in right now. I'm just filling in all the safe blue and safe red states. So, um, pretty much I'll be done with that in just a moment after I fill in Maine. And then we'll have one electoral vote up for t as the toss-up, I guess. And then now we have the current electoral map um, with toss-ups taken out. So 213 electoral votes for Joe Kennedy and 164 for Donald Trump. Um, Joe Kennedy, he I definitely think that he could appeal to the white working class. We're going to get that one right off the bat. Usually I wait because he usually decides the um, ultimate victor of the presidential election, but I do think that Joe Kennedy would most definitely have an appeal to white working class voters. Being literally born into a political dynasty would definitely help him, um, and especially with the fact that he can resonate with a number of voters, older voters in particular. Um, a lot of the younger generation already votes Democrats, but appealing to more older voters and bringing them back into, or bringing new older voters into the Democratic column could be definitely something that the Democrats um, could improve on it would definitely help their chances going down to a state like Florida we're going to come back to that actually but Georgia I'm not really seeing um, the possibility of it flipping same thing with Arizona I think that these two states are pretty much going to stay with the GOP but going over to states that Hillary Clinton won I think that Joe Kennedy would definitely win Colorado um, and when we look at the map it's obviously probably going to be a Kennedy victory. Um, right now he's 37 years old, so of course he could become the next president. Um, but I don't think he'll be able to win in states like Ohio um, and Iowa. But I do think that he could win in North Carolina. Now my reasoning for North Carolina is I think with the number of older voters coming back to the Democratic Party that I believe it may be a minuscule amount. But Democrats currently have a majority um of registered voters nationwide. If they can get them out to vote against the president, I understand this rule rating um, does take into effect, um, but I'm going to give the state of North Carolina to Kennedy by a narrow margin. Going down to Florida, I think Donald Trump could actually carry Florida. Um, now, that's a, that one really should go with North Carolina on how it votes, um, but we're just going to give this one to Trump because I think that Trump State of the Union response, Florida being almost his second home state, I think his approval rating might go higher there. And turns out North Carolina and Florida have pretty much equal approval ratings. Um, going over New Nevada, a state that Donald Trump's approval rating is higher in, I still think that Kennedy would narrowly hold on to victory. Same thing in New Hampshire. And going up to Maine, I think that one electoral vote would ultimately go to Joe Kennedy, giving him the victory there. So final electoral map, 294 electoral votes for Joe Kennedy third, and 244 for Donald Trump. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all later today.